Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be going over some Salesforce Certified Administrator exam practice questions. These are from the exam guide that Salesforce has put out and I will link it down in the description below. Uh, this is just kind of to help you understand if you're ready for the exam or understand what kind of questions they will ask on the administrator exam. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. There are five sample questions and we'll go through each one of them. I hope you can see it all right. If not, go ahead and just zoom in on the video um, or check out the PDF that's linked below. So the first question is, what should a system administrator use to disable access to a custom application for a group of users? Choose one answer. A, profiles, B, sharing rules, C, web tabs, or D, page layouts. And the correct answer is A, profiles. Uh, this is the right answer because profiles really establishes the um, access that you have to the objects and the applications that you have within Salesforce. It wouldn't necessarily be sharing roles because that is more geared towards records and record level security rather than object level security. Um, web tabs and page layouts, those are more of the like user friendly or user experience stuff and it doesn't necessarily deal with any type of security. So if you chose A, you got that one right. All right, question two. Using universal, co universal containers needs to track the manufacturer and model for a specific car companies. How can the system administrator ensure that the selected manufacturer provides the available, provides the values available for the model? Choose one answer. A, create the manufacturer field as a dependent pick list and the model as a controlling pick list. B, create a lookup field from the manufacturer object to the model object. C, create the manufacturer field as a controlling pick list and the model as a dependent pick list. Or D, create a multi-select pick list field that can that includes both manufacturers and models. All right, and the correct answer is C, to create the manufacturer field as a controlling pick list and the model as a dependent pick list. Um, this just kind of works as a one, two step. Um, so once you pick the manufacturer field, you'll be able to choose the model field uh, because of how manufacturers and models are related. All right, let's move on to three. Sales representatives at Universal Containers needs assist need assistance from product managers when selling certain products. Product managers do not have access to opportunities but need to gain access when they are assisting with a specific deal. How can a system administrator accomplish this? Choose one answer. A, notify the product manager using opportunity updates and reminders. B, enable opportunity teams to allow users to add the product manager. C, use similar opportunities to show opportunities related to the product manager or D, enable account teams and allow users to add the product manager. Again, choose one answer. And the correct answer is B, enable opportunity teams and allow users to add the product manager. So there isn't really a rhyme reason or to which deals the product managers will be assisting with. Um, so opportunities allow for a manual ad where as other one to, on this specific opportunity, whereas other answers would use a rule or would use other teams. So for example, account teams would show all the opportunities related to the account, but you want it to be a little bit more granular on the opportunity. Um, and you wouldn't want it to update the opportunity reminder or using opportunity update reminders because they wouldn't get the full information that they need and similar opportunities wouldn't help because they needed to see the exact opportunities. So that's why it's B. All right, let's go ahead and move on to number four. 
says, which two, which two should a system administrator consider before importing a set of records into Salesforce? Choose two answers. A, the import file should include a record owner for each record. B, the currency field values will default to the personal currency of the record owner. C, data should be deduplicated in the import file prior to import. And D, validation rules are not triggered when importing using the import wizard. Again, choose two answers for this one. All right, and the correct answers are A and C. Uh, the reasons why B and D are not the answer um, is D is not the answer because validation rules are triggered using the import wizard. And it is not true that the currency field will default to the personal currency of the record owner. You do need to deduplicate, as C indicates, because you just need to clean information in your org and it's just a best practice and A because the import file you'll need someone to own the record to take responsibility of it once it's there so then your business can run well. All right let's go to the last one which is number five. Which two statements should a custom summary about custom summary formulas is in reports is true? Choose two answers. A, reports can be grouped by a custom summary formula result. B, custom summary formulas can re reference a formula field within a report. C, custom summary formulas can reference another custom summary formula. Or D, custom summary formulas can be used in a report built from a custom report type. Again, choose two answers. And if you chose B and D, you are correct. So there's not really uh, much to explain here. You can, A and C are not the correct ones because you can't group them by a custom summary formula result and you cannot reference them. Another custom summary formula. That's just kind of how it is. All right, and those are all the certified admin questions that we have on this exam guide. Uh, be sure and like and subscribe to this video. This exam guide will be um, down below. Uh, again, be sure to subscribe. It helps me make more helpful videos like this and comment if you have any suggestions or anything that you wanna see um, in later videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.